The delicate relations between the Israelis and their Palestinian neighbors in the West Bank is constantly unstable. In 2022, the small West Bank town of Ariel injured two deadly terror attacks. Eli, mayor of the West Bank settlement city of Ariel, is not deterred. Yes. There are a number of radical people that can try to disturb our way of life. That's their goal, to insert fear. They want to create a feeling of lack of security. More than 80 days ago, Ariel's industrial area was targeted. Three Israelis were murdered. Three others were wounded. In a killing spree that began at 9.30 a.m. at this checkpoint at the entrance of the industrial zone. Life of Israelis working in the industrial area has not returned to normal since the attack. But Jacob, the CEO and owner of the tahini factory, Achva, says not only Jews were affected. We are truly sad when there are terror attacks, but there aren't many. After the last attack here, we all walked with our head down, and our Palestinian workers were very ashamed. They didn't know how to apologize. We all felt it. Mujahid, 33 years old, is married and a father of two. He lives north of Kalkilia and has worked at Jacob's factory for the past 14 years. We all felt horribly. It doesn't affect only Jews or Israelis, but also harms us. We come here to make a living, to put food on the table. We all have five, six people we need to feed. When someone comes to hurt someone else, it hurts us all, Jews and Palestinians. The more terror attacks there are, the more difficult it is for us. Off camera, Mujahid told the I-24 news team that all of his colleagues shared the same sentiment. Around 5,000 Palestinians entered the industrial zone every morning to work in one of the factories alongside Jewish Israelis, and all have a common interest. Those Palestinians that earn four to five times the amount if they were employed by any other company in the Palestinian territory create a mutual financial interest. But it's not an insurance. We saw it. We experienced it. In order to ensure minimum casualties and deter possible terrorists, the Ariel municipality had to make changes to the security protocol. In terms of security, we cannot be stagnated. We always need to look for the weak spots and to improve them. We're going to improve the level of the security guards. A new technological improvement will be introduced. We also make the entrance process easier for Palestinian workers. Future plans to change the security system may make the Palestinians' life a bit easier. For now, though, that isn't the case. It's hard to stand in line to be searched. Before the attack, we only showed the work permit. Now, we need to stand in line with space between us and searched with a metal detector. Before, it was easier. For some, this process can be humiliating. But Mujahid has a unique perspective. It's not humiliating. It's a security matter. Someone can attack. Do you understand why they enforce the security measures? I do. So it won't happen again. Do you think it keeps you safe as well? Correct. It keeps us safe as well. If someone will come to attack again, it will be harder here. There will be some restrictions. There will be more restrictions, more searches, much more difficult. Places like Jacob's factory can make a real change, not only in the Israeli arena, but also in the Palestinian one. My mind was changed about Israelis when I started to work with them. We are the same, Arabs and Jews. The Israelis have humanity without any politics. There is no racism in our relationships and in the workplace. My work partner is an Israeli woman. I feel only respect and there is nothing but respect. When I came here, I found out the truth. I used to think peace will come from wars. But when I came here and I saw the relations between Jews and Arabs through economy and realized peace will come from here. In 2009, then Prime Minister candidate Benjamin Netanyahu presented his vision for an economic peace that would give Palestinians hope for the future. 
Reality on the ground, armed conflicts, and political changes made that promise a difficult task to achieve. But maybe for the businesses in the West Bank, this long-forgotten vision can turn into a reality.